Oh. Hello? Oh, it's the Troy Army. Yeah. You want another video? Okay, sure, one second. Hey guys, my name is Troy. Welcome back to my booktube channel. Yo, what's up, Troy Army Mangoes? <laughs> Y'all wanted me to call you that on the premiere, so I guess I'm gonna just say that. Y'all are now the Troy Army. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be doing a April, or no, May TBR. I always get the months mixed up, but today I'm gonna be doing a May TBR where I'm going to be going all over the books that I wanna read, and I'm also gonna do a life update at the end when I'm finished talking about those books. And specifically for this month, I am going to be reading series. So like, I started a lot of series over the last few months that I haven't been finishing, so I'm gonna be talking about the three series that I wanna finish, which these are big series. So the three series I'm going to be trying to finish in May and like that's probably the only amount of reading that I'm going to be able to do and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish all these three series because there's a lot of books that I'm trying to read but I just feel bad kind of like starting a series and then not finishing it. So I'm going to finish those three series this month and I'm going to be talking about those series in this video. But yeah guys, Troy Army. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Make sure y'all hit that like button. That is one of the biggest things you can do to support me honestly guys. Hit the like button and comment down below. Make sure you comment because that also helps me a lot and if you wanted to go above and beyond share this video with one of your booktube friends that would honestly mean the world to me but yeah i think that's all i had to say i mean let's just jump right into the video with my first series that i need to complete so everyone want to quickly mention this is not like a part of the, kind of this video i just want to say that i am finishing the nagus chase series right now but it's not really part of my tbr since it's just like it's just really not related to the video because it's not really like a big series so yeah this is just I'm finishing this. This is going to be my first read of May, but that's not really what I was going to be talking about. But what I will be reading in May is the Harry Potter series. This is the first series that I want to finish. And after I read Magnus Chase again, I'll be starting on this. And I just realized all the books are misorganized. So one second. That's better. Now you can see all the three books that I have to finish for the Harry Potter series. I'm really excited to finally experience the last two books. I'm on the um, fifth book right now. If you can see, like I'm very, very tiny in and I started it that in April, but now I'm going to finally get back to Harry Potter series and also finish it as I've never read the sixth or the seventh book. I'm so excited to experience those books. And wow, these are heavy. So let me just kind of hold one at a time. I'm so excited to finish the Harry Potter series. It's gonna be, th those books are kind of long, but I think I'll race through them. Um, like I read any other Harry Potter book like I usually go so fast through them except for the fifth book the fifth book is really long and already I'm taking a long time with it so we'll see about that but honestly the Hogwarts series is just so amazing Harry Potter is such a great series and I cannot wait to finally finish the series and then make some videos about it I'm planning to do a whole series review like when I finish the series I'm going to make like I finally finished the Harry Potter series video and then I'm also going to make a video taking some Harry Potter quizzes I think that'll be a fun video for you guys so definitely let me know in the comments if you want that but yeah I'm going to be finally finishing the Harry Potter series and I'm going to be so excited about that I can't wait get on to the next series that I want to read. Okay, the next series that I want to read is the Keeper of the Lost Cities series by Shannon Messenger and I'm not holding up all these books so I'm just going to kind of quickly talk about them and then I'll put them down but basically there are eight books in this series as of this point and I finished the first three and now I want to get to the last five books so book four book five book six book seven and book eight legacy and these books get bigger and bigger as they go on but yeah guys I don't have that muscle strength I'm not going to carry all those books but this series is really really good and I can't wait to get back to it I've read this series like six to eight times I really don't know because it's just been so long that I've been reading the series and so many times that I've been reading the series as well and I just know so much about it and I learned all these like cool details every time I reread and I'm excited to finish it again so yeah it's so fun and this series if y'all don't know what it is which I'm sure a lot of you do is this is about this girl named Sophie Foster who finds out she's an elf and that all of her like weird abilities and talents when she was a teenager because like she hit her head and she started having like these abilities like she realizes like that's normal for like elves and she goes into this normal world where she can fit in but 
soon she realizes that people are willing to kill her and so she has to like find out her heritage like who she is find her place in the elven world and also stop this evil organization that is coming after her and is just causing a lot of evil in the world and just not you know not being helpful i guess so this book is like the series again is really good i have a whole another youtube channel on it and if you want to check it out it's called kotlc fanbase which that channel is actually growing a lot and i'll talk about that in my life update and i'm just so excited to get through the books again because i don't know it's just it feels so nostalgic like i want to get back to the series because i left off on it for a while and when i finish hot harry potter i think i'm going to dive back into that or the next series that i'm going to talk about all right let's go into the next one Okay, and the last series that I need to complete, it's a reread, but I still need to complete it, is The Unwanted series by Lisa McMahon because I started this back in March, I think, and I'm only gotten like halfway into book two, so I still have to read. Oh. Still have to read. Oh book two book three book four book five book six book seven i've still got seven more books in the series to complete and luckily these books are a lot shorter so it won't be as much work for me to finish but i don't know i don't know why i stopped i think i was trying to fulfill like the magical readathon prompts and i kind of got swept away with that so now that i have the time i can go back to reading it yeah i'm really excited about reading this series again because this is such like a really nice middle grade book like i've been reading a lot of middle grades since quarantine started because it's just a lot more light and fun to read during this like kind of sucky time I guess. Yeah, this is like a really fun middle grade book about like creative people like becoming like warriors and like using um, creativity and like art and magic like as magic and weapons and fighting and it's just really cool how like in later in the series they're just going every book they're exploring one of the seven islands in their world and it's like so imaginative so creative and I really love the series just such a whimsical and fun series and I cannot wait to dive back into this series because I've been missing it so much. Hopefully be able to read these three series this month. Harry Potter which has three more books which is which with also Magnus Chase, that's four books. And then I need to read five more KOTLC books, which will be nine books plus like five and a half, six and a half books. So yeah, there's a lot of books that I have to read this month, guys, but I am up for the challenge. I'm so excited to continue reading these series because I think series are a lot easier for me to kind of whip through. Yeah, now that I completed this TBR, like this is all the books that I want to read this month. This is my plans. I want to get into a little life update and then we'll end this video. So now that I talked about all the series that I want to read this month and that I want to complete, let's get on to a little bit of a life update because I feel like for the last like two or three videos, I haven't been like like telling you what's going on with me. The last time I updated you guys, I was really stressed and like nothing much has really changed, but let's just kind of talk about it. So with school, on a good note, school is getting a lot less stressful because this is like my second to last week in school, um, which is crazy to me. Like I'll have a three-ish month break, I think three months. Yeah, like almost a three month break starting next week, which is crazy to think that like I'll be getting out of school and like this is my last few assignments. But yeah, and I also only have three classes right now because I finally finished one of them. One of them was Spanish, the one that was killing me the most and that was taking most of my time. That one is complete because it was not affiliated with my school. So like the class is now done a lot early because like I guess we didn't have a spring break on that class so yeah I got to finish a lot early with that class and now Spanish is done and I got a 97 in that class so I'm really excited about that and now I just have three more classes to get through the math class is so easy and then social studies is really hard and science is like really really hard so like I've got two hard classes one easy class but again it's all ending soon and that stress will hopefully leave me a lot more happy it's just I still feel really really like I'm just doing too much and then um I also want to touch on YouTube so as you guys know or as most of you guys know I have two YouTube channels because a lot of you have came from the first one I have one called the KOTLC fanbase and one Troy Reads I'm uploading two times on Troy Reads which is not that stressful but on top of school work it is like um i cannot uh do any school work on wednesdays because all my wednesdays and all my saturdays are all for troy reads like i tend to edit the video on wednesday and upload it on wednesday and then i film the day before and then i do that for the same so like those two days are gone and then i also have one day out of the week filming and recording and editing and stuff for kotlc fan base because i upload like once or twice a week on there and so i've got three videos of going out a week which would be manageable like in the summer this would be very manageable for me but with the schoolwork, it's not and it's still causing me stress i thought that if i completed spanish it would be a lot easier but still 
it's a lot. And then I also want to touch on one last thing, which is a recent bloom in our channel analytics for the Kid Disney fan base. My Troy Reese channel isn't doing that great in terms of analytics recently because of the schoolwork and stuff, but my Kid Disney fan base channel, I've been putting a lot more effort into that and I have been seeing results. We've been getting messages from YouTube that our videos are doing a lot better than normal. They're getting like 1K views every single video that we post. Views have like doubled over the past 90 days and with every month and with every week, we're doing better and better and better and our growth is going more and more and more. Like today, we got like 40 subscribers and we post like one thing like i don't know it's just been a lot more crazy on the kotlc fan base and with that i've been also doing a lot more like i've been taking so much time out of my day to respond to comments because we're literally getting a few every hour and that racks up and every time we post a video those videos are getting like between 200 and 300 comments and yeah it's just a lot of work so that's basically my life update a lot is going on but i'm doing pretty good i'm really happy about like the recent analytic growth and stuff but i just wanted to kind of like get it all out there for you guys like this is how my life is doing and it's doing pretty good so i'm really happy about everything but i don't want this life update to be too long so let's get into the outro so troy army i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that is the end of it just wanted to take a video to just kind of go through my thought process of a how my life is going right now and what i want to read during may like just kind of plans and thoughts i just wanted to kind of do a little more thought videos but do definitely want to do a lot more fun videos in the future so let me know if you guys have any ideas in the comments like of fun videos that you think everyone would enjoy because i feel like some of my content has just gotten to me talking about my life and books and that's not too interesting so definitely let me know in the comments if you have any fun booktube tags or any book challenges i would love to know and yeah guys if you like this video make sure to like liking is probably the biggest thing you guys can do for me actually no <laughs> subscribing would do a lot for me sharing this video would do a lot 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 for me and commenting definitely share your thoughts on the video below i would love to hear your thoughts it really does help me out and i would love to respond to you or respond to the first few comments not the first few but like the if you comment like in the first few hours i will probably respond to you so yeah and share this video with the book to friends subscribe comment below your thoughts i don't really know what else to say besides that and also make sure to go click up there and see what I read in April. If you wanna find out what I read in April, click up there for my April wrap up video. I went over like the 11 books that I read in April, which is a lot of books. Make sure to check it out and let's have another great reading month in May. So love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy. Love you guys so much. Troy Army, love you guys. Peace out. Bye.